dal Volvo Penta Dealer Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is the second part of the installation of my new engine, the Volvo Penta D130. In this episode you will see a lot of stuff that need to be installed inside the engine room. In this uh, task Andrea helped me a lot. He has a lot of experience installing engine. In his working life, he's probably installed about 200 engines from sailboat to fisherman boat or to motorboat. So he knows very well how to make a very tidy and clean installation. I won't have the possibility when inside the engine room to move and make all the adjustments. I need the correct space when I need to change the diesel filter, oil filter, or I need to clean the water field. So there is a lot of things you need to be take care and have a very, very, very beautiful installation. So I try to do the best and I show you how me and Andrea organize everything. Okay, now it's time to show you the second part of the video. Stay tuned, we go! I decided to use the NPL45 water lock made by Vetus because he has a very interesting features. One of these is the possibility to rotate the bodies about 360 degrees, so you have a perfect fit for the hose that go uh, outside the boat. Also I have a superior noise reduction and I have a minimal back pressure in the exhaust system. You know that the engine of Alberasi 312 is below the waterline, so you need to pay a lot of attention for this. Now Andrea is checking how to install the water lock on the wall and also take the measure of the length of the hose. And this is the base for the water lock. I made it by marine aluminium and it's very sturdy and this support will be attached to the wall inside the engine room. Now Andrea is preparing the stainless steel support for LGX200 Algaix magnetic fuel condition. I have already used this item in my previous boat and I can say I have never had problem with the diesel filter clogging. Also when I sail in IC and there was a very high waves that smash on the board. So my diesel line was always very very clean. Now we decide with Andrea where to install the Alga X LGX200. We decide to install on the starboard side of the engine, uh, just under the foot of the engine. So we prepare the correct space where the bolt pass through. Now Andrea has installed the hose connector. This item on your engine doesn't need or doesn't require too much special maintenance. And now it's time to prepare the support for the diesel filter. As normally I use the best stuff uh, around if I can, so I decide to use the Raccord filter 120S, for me one of the best filter around. Uh, you can see here we prepare the support for the Raccord filter because we decide to put the filter in this position very close to the entrance uh, of the diesel in the engine, just is about uh, uh, 10 cm, so very close to the engine. I use a Korean support that Franco made for me, so it's a very uh, strong one. And also the diesel field is installed, we need only to finish the installation, but we can move over. Now it's time to install all the hoses. This is the water intake of the engine, we use a premium class A hoses, 
So under F, take all the measure and start to cut the hose and install it with the clamps. You can see that the water filter made by Guidi is already installed. It's time now to install the exhaust uh, water hose. Uh, this uh, hose is made in such a way uh, that it can create a very tight curus. And you know, the spice inside the engine room are always very limited. You need uh, this type of hose to make a very tidy installation. The diameter of the hose is 45 millimeters. And now Andrea is struggling <laughs> to to take the exact and correct length. And after taking the correct length, it's time to cut it and fix forever with the clamps. Remember always to use some grease to permit a very nice and easy installation of the hose. Double clamp on the manifold. It's now time to install the delivery pipe and the return pipe of the diesel circuit. Andreas, take out the protection of the diesel intake on the engine and we spill some diesel in the engine room so I came back to the original smelling. And now we tight the hose and the clamps. So Andre is cleaning the excess of diesel that was already in the engine. And also it's time to connect the LGX200 in the diesel circuit, you can see. The very nice thing is create a very tidy and clean installation. I want my engine room very clean, not too much hose, and have all, all perfectly aligned and perfectly in the correct order. Andrea now is installing the water filter on the main circuit of the water. We waited to do this until all the various diesel main pipe were assembled and installed. Now we have a clear idea of where to put the first filter of the water line. Andrea used the Teflon to make watertight the connection. Is always uh, struggling to insert plastic on the bronze uh, stuff, but uh, there is no way, so we do it. You have also uh, pay a lot of attention when you get the plastic on the bronze to avoid damaging the thread. If you do this, you can throw away the plastic uh, support. Okay, job done. We insert the plastic support on the filter and now we put the filter on the water line. We need to cut the hose and check the best position. Now Andre is checking if it's correct to install the filter inside the engine room. So he's test if it could be installed there and we check. So we decide and we will install the water filter inside the engine room because it's very easy to reach and very easy to clean. So Andrea now is cutting the hose clamps to fix the hose. Another important thing to do and for finish this type of work is install the cable uh, that control the gears of the engine and also the um, throttle of uh, the engine. I used the original cable that was already installed in the original engine uh, since the cable is still in good condition, but I decide to use the new one for the throttle because I need 30 cm more longer. And here we are, we are just finished to install the engine. You can see here the Alga X is installed here. The diesel come through this one and after that go straight there in the filter and in the filter go straight this so this clean this uh, lgx 200 will clean my diesel straight from the tank you can see the very clean installation very easy access to the impeller 
on the engine, the water. So it's very, very nice. I need to cut this one. But as you can see, my, my engine is well mounted and well fixed. This is all the electric parts. And you can see here, this is the water lock uh, made by Vetus. This is the Guidi uh, water filter. The riser and the clean installation just inside. This is the diesel filter. And here you can see where the primary water filter is installed. I have two filters installed in my water line. One is this one and the other is just installed in the pump that make distribution of all the water inside the board. And here you can see the Guidi filter with the Guidi fittings made by Marine Bronze. Another important thing to do is to ground the water filter because if this is not done, the stainless steel basket inside disappears after a short time corroded by the galvanic current. You can see the connection that goes directly to the zinc on the hull. And this is the installation, very clean and very easy access to my engine room. It's very easy to reach the valves, the blue one. There is the filter here, very easy to change diesel filter from here. I also have easy access here. If you want to close the hot water circuit, if you have a problem with the hot water, it's only need to close the valves, one and two. Very happy with this uh, setup because you can avoid to ruin the engine if something happened. You can see the riser, the beautiful uh, bronze risers made by Volvo, Volvo parts, beautiful. And I can say that only need the second new cable. It is just arrived, it is uh, the new one. You can see in the box, I need to open it and install, but it is 30 centimeters more longer than the original to get a very nice and tight installation. You can see the hose of the um, exhaust. I need to fix to avoid uh, that uh, could move and ruin it, but quite finished, very happy. Okay guys, and now I need to make the perfect hole for the instruments. You can see where we be here. So I need to measure perfectly. Eduardo helped me with the CNC milling machine to cut a perfect hole. So I need to take the perfect measure. After that, we put the piece of uh, fiberglass just under the milling machine. And after that, Eduardo will cut the correct size hole perfectly centered inside the box. Okay, ready to go there to get the perfect size of the another fresh accessory that must not be missing in any board is the ultra switch pump unit model. I will install it on the bottom of the build. Uh, this is a very, very interesting stuff made very well. It's a switch, ultra safety system, and it's great. First of all, I need to clean all the stuff on the bottom of the build after that. Close and avoid other stuff. It's quite uh, annoying, Matt. I need to do. I already test on the bottom of the build and where to install. And this is the switch. It's already engaged. And this is, this is the ultra pump switch. I show you in a moment. When the water enters in the holes, uh, the switch lift and put the switch on and the pump start to work. The setup of my switch is very easy. 24 hours a day is always on. S something happens when I am on the board, the switch, if the water enters in the build, automatically 
put on the water pump. Logically, I also have the option to operate the bilge pump manually, independently, from the installed switch. In addition, there is also a manual pump in the build that can I use from the cockpit. So I think I am quite uh, well protected. Ok, now I need to take out everything and prepare the installation of the switch. Uh, this is the first attempt to install the ultra pump switch uh, because my idea is to put all together uh, the manual pump and also the electronic uh, uh, ultra switch pump but at the end it doesn't work very well so I will need to figure out another solution I really make a mistake to thinking to use the ultra pump switch attached to the main hoses that bring the water outside the bilge. You can imagine something happen or you clog the ultra pump switch that doesn't work. I need to take out all the hose. Oh, I spent one hour to take out everything. I really don't know what I did uh, this solution. And here I'm thinking, oh, you stupid Gabriel, you need a different approach. Besides use the original setup, and put the pump just here and fix here as was original because if something clog it's very difficult to take out those hole and you can imagine to take out the pump in the middle of the sea no way two screw here and you can lift originally i made this plate to install two uh, electric switch just the one uh, below the other one so the, if the first doesn't work the second work but at the end I didn't use the electric one because some uh, electric current could uh, ruin my uh, diesel tank so I prefer to use this very safe system and I use the same plate this ultra switch pump junior uh, come with all the connection I already did and they use a very high quality electric cable they also give you a stainless steel clamps to fix the switch where you want. Okay guys, the bilge pump is completely assembled. You can see here. So we test and after that we install and we close everything. The bilge is done. Okay, we check. <laughs> Perfect. I already glue epoxy glue a piece of plywood you can see on the water tank where I will fix the stainless steel plate. And here you can see the final installation of the bilge pump switch on the right, perfectly installed and well fixed. This is my board saver and my advice buy a very good quality stuff like this one it's time to fix the stainless steel plate with two uh, stainless steel screw this is all the connection and now i need to fix the cables there all the connection are waterproof remember that clean installation make a very nice job Okay. Perfect. Another work we did with Andrea is to shorten the old pipe that connected the shower on the end bilge. The water from the shower come with this uh, pipe inside the bilge. I don't have more uh, this uh, problem because I use a different approach, but we want to shorten the old uh, pipe because I want a very clear build. I want to have access to my builds without any disturb in the middle. For this reason we cut it and we insert this angled steel pipe that straight go inside the builds. In this way I have a very 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 clear passage to clean the bottom of the build. Now 
there are some small things you can do in the board and get a better result than was original and anytime i won't use the better result the most easy result the most clean result and the most is access to any part of my board and this meaning sometimes to cut and replace some stuff that was uh, made without too much attention so guys here we are the video is finished i hope you enjoyed the video and if you like my video please remember to leave a thumb up and i'm waiting your comment right below i'm very happy to reply to you personally and immediately so guys we see you in the next episode and thank you for watching ciao